verse 19. Lay not up for yourself treasures upon the earth. Hey, whatever your all these material things, these elements you see around here, man, these cars, your watches, your chain, your shoes, your car, whatever your treasure at, man, mentally and physically, man, that's what your heart gonna be. But if you're in that right spirit, your treasure supposed to be, man, getting the hell upon here, man. When the murder get destroyed. Praying to your by show your outside. Let the Lord most high destroy this place, man. Because you don't, you don't want to be on Esau Kingdom another minute. Lay not up for yourself treasures upon the earth where moth and rust doth corrupt. Yeah, because all, all these elements that's out here, man, these buildings, these new fancy cars, most likely gonna show all that shit, man. By what? Nuclear missiles, man. That's how it's gonna get destroyed. Go ahead. And where thieves break through and steal, mm -hmm. but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. That's what. That's what we. That's what we just waiting for, man. Patiently, man. Cause it's on your hour time, man. You feel me? Not even your hour shot know that the day he's gonna come back for the second time. He just waiting on that green light. You feel me? We just waiting for our new kingdom to be established right here on earth. The new kingdom. Where, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt. See, see a nigga like that? That smoking cigarette? Man, most likely gonna put his ass to death, man. Right. Uh, Go ahead. Where thieves break, do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart see? be also. Even the scripture said it, man. Not my own words. Whatever your heart is, man. So you probably working overtime hours just to get a new car. Feel me? You probably even say, wicked ass niggas saving money just to spend time in the studio, man. Ain't no more America, man. Ain't no more future for America. So you ain't saving money just to go in the studio. Oh, no, here's another 200, bro. What? Bump the beat. Bump the beat. You waste your time in the studio, man. Straight up. If you ain't talking about your hot watch and your shot, you just wasting your breath. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth but What thou law shalt... man? That's what we're doing out here, speaking the words of the Heavenly Father You think we're going to get into the chew and just damn, I, I, I don't want to do this no more man This this, this too much for me I'm going to start talking about the Bible I'm going to start reading it Nah man, this is our book You, you got the white man Bet he had this blessing man he begging he had this brother, and that's why he's trying to hide this information from us, man. Why you think they try so hard to hide our heritage from us? Because this book is powerful, man. They show in that movie, Book of Enoch. They show you that, like, damn, as soon as the white man got the Bible, like, why you, why you trying so hard to get the Bible? You dumb, it is just not no book, man. That book got power. But as soon as that damn Enoch opened up the book, it was nothing but white pages, man. It's not for the white man. They get me some some fifteen or sixteen. Go ahead, bro. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but shall meditate therein day hey. and night. See, that's why we study we study the scripture, man. We can start getting to the words. We get deep into it, man. But why? Because our elders recommend us to, man. You feel me? You got that? Yeah, I got Go it. Go ahead. This is Psalms 50 and 16. Go ahead. But unto the wicked, God said. Hey, to the wicked. Who's the wicked? So-called white man. The head of the um, tribe of Esau. Y'all Edomites. Y'all Russians. Y'all Greek. Just to get you the idea. Go ahead. What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Hey, ain't they claiming that they received the law, statutes, and commandments? Because it was only certain a group of people that was there when Moses came down and presented the law to the, the Israelites, man. Go ahead. Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. Hey man, hey, you got you got my pastor set up these churches out here, these Catholic churches. They they got the book in their hand, man. Look what the Lord just said, man. What you doing with the book? It's not for you, man. It's only for the Hebrew Israelite. That's so-called Negro Latinos. So what the hell you doing? Talk um, you can't y'all can't even break down the scripture, man. You feel me? Even our people that's in the church right now, TD fake. But just to show you, just that movie, Book of Enoch, 
Eli. Book, of Eli, book of Eli, right? Yeah. Book of Eli. What you doing with the book, man? It's not for you. Because soon as finally at the end he got the book, he was, he was not able to read it at all, man. Because it's not for you, Mr. White Man. This is Acts 21 and 13. Then Paul answered, What mean ye to weep and to break my heart? For I am ready not to, to be bound only, but also to die you hear that? at to Jerusalem. Die. To die, man. That's, that's what it's all about, man. The brother that's doing this shoot, believe we're not going to die in vain. But these rest of these wicked ass niggas, the rest of two thirds, believe they're going to die in vain. They gonna die for nothing. Cause when we come out in this troop, man, anything can happen out here in these streets. A brother probably don't like us. Come out here, roll down the window, start shooting us, man. But y'all how about shim y'all shot got their ass on check, man. That's right. You feel me? What's going on there, right? For I am ready not to be bound only, but also to die at Jerusalem. Hey, you, you got by the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Feel me? You gotta come out, anything can happen, man. So we actually making a sacrifice when we come out here in this shoot, man. Cause even these damn crackers can send out an agent just snipers, man, from anywhere from the top of these buildings. You don't know what the hell the bullet came from, man. These brothers just laid out, man. Go ahead. This is Job chapter 5, verse 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. Hey, that's talking about when the neck gets sealed. You feel me? But at the same time, you're going to have some brothers that get thrown in to concentration camp. They still going to be in there telling brothers, trying to wake them up, telling them to two thirds. You feel me? So that's all you meditate in this world. You still want to talk to your Israelite brother, like, man, hey, you know the white man is the devil, right? You know this chip they're trying to force us to get? That's the main reason we ain't here, man. But two thirds going to be like, ah, Latino, you, you, you loco, man, you loco. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death. Uh -huh. And in Cause war, because even, even through the bad time, you probably gonna be, you probably eat for one or two days. But your hot body should be outside. It's gonna provide you food and water, man. Even though you're still starving, man, but you ain't gonna starve to death. The Lord gonna take care of you in that time. Go ahead. And in war, from the power of the sword. Yeah. Thou shalt. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it, co hey, when it cometh. We ain't, we ain't scared of these damn you and troops, man. But don't get me confused, we're gonna have some type of sense of fear. But we ain't gonna be all bugged out, hands on our head like, what the hell's going on? They everywhere, where to go? We ain't gonna be running around with our head cut off, man. We gonna be in that peace mindset. Ooh, almost got hit. The rest of these simple ass niggas that just go to work, come home, watch a football game, eat processed food, they don't, they don't know what the hell's gonna happen to America, man. Till they just hit them like a thief in the night. That's it. Go ahead, bro. This is 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3. For when they shall say, peace and safety. Hey, then when that time comes when you troops start to go crazy, Obama gonna come on TV, talking about U.S. citizens. Don't don't worry about nothing. Everything's gonna be all right. We gonna handle the situation, man. Police shit's gonna get even worse. It's gonna it's gonna be all hectic, man. Cause you got these damn devils. The the car they use to go out and ran to war. They they raise ship like thousands of them here to America, man. No bullets gonna pierce through that car, man. Bulletproof. You got all type of gadgets, man. What they bring that shit here for? Cause it's gonna, it's gonna be war here in America. What? Then sudden destruction coming upon them. Hey, soon as he say peace and safety, hey, all y'all citizens calm down. Don't worry about anything, man. This shit gonna get crazier, man. Verse three. For when. They shall say peace and safety. Yeah. Then sudden destruction coming upon them. Oh hell gonna break loose in America. People gonna be getting their head cut off. They head blown off, man. These damn, they got whole 
um, hollow top bullets. Just, just gonna run through your head, man. Ain't no surviving China.